Hello. I implemented new agent within, within Sparrow called Sparrow Parse, and this agent works with Sparrow Parse library, uh, which uh, implements uh, backend uh, communication uh, with uh, Vision LLM. And in this specific example, I'm using Q127B uh, Vision LLM to process invoice. And specifically about Sparrow Parse agent, what we do, we allow uh, document query using JSON format. Uh, basically, you pass a sample JSON structure where you uh, specify field names that you want to extract, as well as relationships. So if you uh, extract uh, form uh, data, then you pass it like on the first level of the JSON schema. Then if you want to extract the table, then you specify that uh, specific fields will be extracted uh, as array, for example, and then you list all the uh, column names and so on. And then uh, when you execute the query, this schema is validated. If it conforms with uh, a JSON structure, then it's okay, then we we'll go to the next step. Otherwise, message to the user is returned to fix the query. So in the next step, the inference is being executed and the query is being constructed out of the schema. And from the schema, we extract the field names and we uh, uh, construct the, let's say, prompt that will be sent to LLM in format where we say retrieve, uh, we list all the field names and we say that please return response in a JSON format and strictly follow the uh, JSON schema as provided in the query. And then we uh, pass all this JSON schema from the query. So this allows to get structured predefined response from LLM based on the query schema. And in the next step, after we execute inference, we also uh, do validation. We check that uh, response that we get it uh, corresponds to the uh, schema included in, in the query uh, in case if there was any mistake from LLM. Right, and uh, this is uh, visible here in the code. Uh, the Sparrow, Sparrow Parse agent is located under Rack Agent Structure, and probably this will, will become main Sparrow agent with time, and other agents will be deprecated uh, because uh, agent which works with Vision LLM provides much better results than any other agents previously tested by me. Okay, so this is the main entry point into the agent run pipeline, and here in the first step. Uh, by the way, we allow wildcard. This means if wildcard is passed in the query, then all the fields will be uh, retrieved and LLM will decide automatically how to structure the response. So you don't need to provide JSON schema in this case that will uh, format the response. If you provide the schema, then we prepare the query. Uh, this means we extract the field names from the schema and we validate the schema itself. Then in the next step, we execute uh, query, we execute inference, we pass the uh, query and uh, schema, everything, and the file path uh, to which will be a process and so on. And then we get uh, LLM output, which is supposed to be a JSON structure. And here we uh, do validation check in case if uh, the query was not a wildcard, but it was with the schema. So we need to validate the response against the schema from the query. And this is where we do validation. And if everything is fine, we report time and we return back the response. Right, and for example, there are a couple of helper methods to prepare query and schema. Then this execute query uh, helper method, which uh, talks to the Sparrow Parse library and uh, it provides configuration here. And the idea is that Sparrow Parse library implements the factory method and it doesn't depend on single vision LLM or on single infrastructure. Like in this case, we're using Hugging Face Spaces GPU, but uh, with uh, Sparrow Parse, we could execute the same request on a local GPU or on any other cloud GPU, doesn't matter. So it's just a uh, certain support for for the runtime must be implemented under Sparrow Parse library and then through configuration properties, we control how it is executed. We pass the image and then we run here extractor. It comes from Sparrow Parse library and we run the inference. And if we check here, uh, we'll see that uh, this is the VLLM extractor. It comes from Sparrow Parse uh, 
uh, extractors VLLM. And if you check requirements for the Sparrow agent, we see that there's a library, Sparrow Parse Library 0 0.34 installed, which provides all the methods to communicate to the Visual LM uh, backend, let's see. Okay, so we so we do inference here, then in the next step over here we validate result. And this is helper method just to print out the messages uh, when you execute from command line. Okay, and this another script uh, Sparrow Utils. It contains just some helper method, methods to validate uh, JSON uh, structure, then to extract keys from uh, JSON structure to form the query. And this validator is being defined, which compares JSON string. Uh, this is uh, coming from the inference uh, LLM output, and we compare it again against JSON schema from the original query. And it just, because we have two JSON structures, we can compare uh, and see uh, if uh, output basically uh, corresponds to the expect to the schema as expected. And for that, we are using out of the box uh, validation logic from JSON schema library. Okay, and now we can do a test to see how it works. So over here. We can see that I have say okay. Here is the sample query. I want to extract invoice number, invoice date, and I'm specifying value as example. This means uh, it will be a hint to LLM that value must be of string type for this field. Then seller name, seller address, and so on and so on, and then we also extract array here, invoice items, and this is the array. And inside the array, we extract description, quantity, net price, net worth. And example, uh, here we give another hint, quantity is a uh, numeric field with the fractional digits. So specify 0, 0.00. This means uh, LLM will understand this is not a string and it's not integer. It's float, for example, and it will be able to extract uh, correct number from the document and return it as a number, not as a string. And there's another uh, table, another array invoice summary. And uh, it's interesting that we uh, we can specify, because in a document, uh, the same labels are being used under invoice summary, like net worth, VAT, and gross worth, the same like here under invoice items. But since uh, this group goes under another array invoice summary, uh, Cuban 2 Vision LM is able to understand that this block is, should be fetched not from the invoice items, but from the invoice summary, and it returns correct correct result. So now if we try to execute, and by the way, we specify here that we execute Sparrow Parse Agent, debug true, and uh, this is the sample data file. It's uh, here. So we've got seller information, client, let's maximize it a bit. Uh, invoice date, date of issue, and this is the list of invoice items. And uh, like I like I told you, this is the list of values from the summary table. So we see it's query executing, inference is running, and uh, at this moment we are using uh, zero GPU from Hugging Face Spaces, uh, and it runs on 800 GPU. It's a private GPU instance, so in this case, file is uploaded to a uh, private space, and then as soon as inference is done, it's being automatically removed, so it's completely safe in this case. And at the same time, the same Sparrow Parse infrastructure can run on a local GPU, so there's no, no constraint about that. Uh, we were preparing query and schema, and this is the input data image. Then this is the text input. Uh, this is the query that was formed to be executed on LM uh, retrieve, and we specify all the field names. And by the way, the field names that uh, uh, that belong to the table are also listed just in a simple way, like like the fields uh, for uh, for the form data. And then 
as, uh, since we provide this information here, where we say uh, police return uh, response and JSON format strictly following this JSON schema, and JSON schema contains all the names as in the query, and it also contains the structure. And LLM is able to understand automatically where each field belongs to to which, uh, uh, let's say, response uh, group it should be assigned. And it was executed now at 63 seconds. Validation result was good. It says that uh, LLM output is valid according to the schema, and this is the response we get. So we get form data, then we get invoice items, and you can see we get numbers as expected because under the schema initially in the query we were using 0.00, .00 so we got numbers here. So we got, we got all the five items. Uh, the text is correct, then it's 1, 12, 99, 12.99, 10%, 14.29, and the second table net worth uh, is correct one from here, 192.81, VAT is correct, and gross for 212.09 is also correct. So uh, this new Sparrow agent provides very good uh, results, and the implementation that helps to validate the JSON schema query, then execute inference and validate back the response in a simple uh, yet efficient way is great because we don't need to rely on any other frameworks and uh, we rely on this correct input to LLM and then we validate output from LLM and all the heavy lifting job is done automatically by uh, Q2 Vision LLM without any other frameworks or plugins. So thanks for watching and um, I'll be posting more videos about this topic in the future and stay tuned. See you next time. Bye.